going on guys, this is Jesse Nodai and today I'm going to show you guys how the jailbreaker device is running iOS 6.1.3 through 6.1.5 using P06 SPWN. The link will be in the description below so make sure you click that and then you'll be here on this page and once you're here then we can begin. So go to Windows and click the link right here and then once you click it you should automatically be sent to Mega or any site. I don't know if it'll be upgraded by the time I make this video but as you can see I'm downloading the zip file and you know let's just begin and here we go. Alright so the zip file has been downloaded. Open it and let's just minimize out of the browser real quick and don't open the utility just yet just put it to your desktop real quick and now we can begin so let's minimize out of this and right click on the application and click run as administrator all right so now that that's done get your device ready and your usb and connect it to your computer i've Freshly, I just restored this for you guys. So it's had a fresh restore and everything else like that. And once it's connected, you can see that it can automatically um, can tell that it's been connected to your computer. Oh, iTunes. Let me just um, exit out of this real quick. This is a one-click process, and just click jailbreak. And once you click that, it should automatically reboot. So don't worry. This program is the exact same thing as like the Evasion Jailbreak. So all you just basically have to do is just press jailbreak, but you don't have to go to your device or open the evasions applications or anything else like that. It's just one click. I promise it's that simple and easy. So just make sure you don't touch your device and let it P06 SPWN do its thing. Now it says performing magic and it's doing the binaries and it's um, tampering with the codes and everything like that and it's putting city at 1.1.9 and everything else like that I made sure to speed up this video because it is quite a long process so I just want to show you guys a simple video on how to jailbreak it Alright, so it says done. You may reboot a few times while it finalizes. So that's basically it. Everything else takes place on your device. Now, I wouldn't say you should disconnect it just yet. Just leave it in just in case. So um, we're just going to wait until the iPod responds and then we can do the jailbreak. Well, basically your device is already jailbroken. Let me just show you guys real quick. All right, so it's back up. And as you can see, you have a new icon, which is Cydia. Now it says preparing file system. So whatever you do, please do not touch your device. Um, this is where Cydia downloads all the packages and themes and tweaks and everything, especially with this new firmware. That's right, Cydia 1.1.9. So it gives you that whole new iOS 7 look and everything else like that. So like I said, please leave your device alone make sure it's plugged into your computer it does take a while so just do whatever you can um, all right and also you do get an air saying storage is almost full just ignore that so here we go
All right, and now your device should have resprung by now, and that's it. You finally have Cydia. You'll have three options which you're on. You'll have user, hacker, and developer. I choose developer because there are more options, and I know what I'm doing. So for you guys, you guys should just use um, user, and it's simple as that. Just click refresh if you guys don't see anything, and that's basically it. So guys, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and this is just you know signing out. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Later.